I always tell people who are looking to buy their first boat to buy used. But what if you decided you wanted to buy a brand new boat? Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video, we're going to look at some of the cheapest brand new boats that you could buy, and how little could you spend to get a brand new boat and a brand new motor. There's a whole lot of good reasons to buy a used boat for your first boat. But in this video, we're just going to look at how easily and cheaply can you get your hands on a shiny brand new boat and a shiny brand new engine. There are some very reasonable little boats out there. For example, there's this one person pond boat for $500. But with boats priced this cheap, you're fishing by yourself and only on a pond with a tiny little electric trolling motor, or maybe a paddle. I'm talking about getting a boat where you could take a buddy fishing with you in the reservoir, or maybe a friend up to the sandbar up the river to have a lunch. So basically a boat that just meets three simple requirements. First, the boat needs to be available from a reputable source, not some faraway country with a shady website where you're afraid to put your credit card information into. Second, the boat must be able to hold at least two people and maybe some stuff. Third, the boat needs to be rated to handle an engine of at least five horsepower. By requiring at least a five horsepower engine, that allows you to motor along with your friend at speeds up to 10 miles an hour. If you went with a smaller 2.5 horsepower engine, that boat would be really struggling to move two people with some stuff at five miles an hour. These three requirements open up opportunities to boat in more places and more frequently. Of course, we're not talking about boats that can handle rough waters or open ocean situations. We're just talking about a boat that you can use in rivers, streams, canals, and small lakes. So let's take a look at some of our contenders. West Marine makes a neat little plastic sailing dinghy that is able to have a motor mounted on it. It's just under 10 feet long, can barely hold two adults and some gear, but it's limited to a three horsepower motor. So it's a no-go on this one, which is unfortunate because I've seen this boat in person and it's a cool little plastic dinghy. Cabela's, or Bass Pro Shops, depending on where you live, have a plastic 12-foot John boat that is two foot longer than the West Marine boat, but it only holds 420 pounds and is limited to a 2.5 horsepower engine. So once again, a boat like that's really only well suited for one person with a little bit of gear. Tracker Boats makes a model called the Topper 1236. It's a 12 foot aluminum John boat that holds 480 pounds and can take a five horsepower motor. This is definitely a contender at $995. West Marine also has a whole line of inflatable dinghies or rigid inflatable boats, RIB boats, RIBs. For this video, remember, we're looking at the absolute cheapest options available to get us out on the water while meeting our three criteria. So the cheapest inflatable dinghy they offer is the RU250 at essentially $600. Looking at the specs, it's quite impressive. 881 pound capacity. It can handle a five horsepower motor. And these dinghies are often used as tenders for much larger boats to take people to the docks or to shore. So they're able to handle rougher waters than a still pond. This boat looks like our winner, but now we have to put our five horsepower engine on it. Tractor Supply, Walmart, and others offer this Coleman branded four stroke five horsepower engine for $1,099. Apparently these are made by Tohatsu, and they seem to be the cheapest five horsepower engine available that isn't some unknown brand from Amazon. And the reason I would be hesitant to buy something like this 
Hang Kai from Amazon is the availability of parts and unknown quality control. So yeah, I'm kind of breaking my own rules here with regards to the cheapest available from a known seller. But do you really want to be the guy who's trying to get your $800 motor that you bought from Amazon fixed at the local marina because it won't start? So let's say we buy the West Marine RU250 and the Coleman 5 horsepower four-stroke engine. You've spent $1,700 so far, and you don't have any safety equipment or have your boat registered. Depending on where you live and plan to use your boat, you might need to do both of those things. For example, here in Maryland, any boat with any type of mechanical propulsion system on it needs to be registered. And realistically, unless you're going to use your little RU250 as anything more than just a dinghy to take you back and forth from your yacht that's moored out in Annapolis Harbor back and forth to, you know, get some groceries or go out to dinner, you're really going to want a bigger boat because that thing is pretty small. And an RIB has the distinct advantage of having soft sides when you're pulling up next to your boat. But also it can be a disadvantage when you're pulling up to a mooring piling that has splinters on it or some other sharp surface. Which brings us back to the tracker topper. But here I would also do another little upgrade and get the topper 1436, which is only $100 more than the 12 foot boat. So now you've got a boat that's just under 14 feet long. It can accommodate an engine up to 15 horsepower. It can carry three people, and with that Coleman 5 horsepower engine, it comes in at $2,194. After taxes, registration, stickers, life vests, oars, ropes, and other stuff, you could be on the water with your brand new rig for under $3,000. No trailer, of course, and while it's a sturdy, rugged little boat, it doesn't have any padded seats, no bimini top, no rod holders, and no lights. So if you and your significant other have been looking around at a lot of musty old, rotten old boats, and you'd really like to get something new, for under $3,000, you could have yourself a brand new 14-foot Tracker John boat and a five-horsepower four-stroke engine all brand new. Personally, I'd love a rig like this, but I also think that the way I would look at it is I would probably piece it together, find some old used John boat that might be a little bit beat up, find a used engine that still works, put those things together, you might have your whole rig for under $1,000, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about seeing whether or not you can buy a new one and for how cheap you could buy a new one. So I'm Wayne the Boat Guy. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a couple other videos you might be interested in. Stay safe out there on the water.